Go away, bear. That was loud. Come on. Get going. Yeah, my heart's pounding. That's the one thing about Alaska. There's just all sorts of big animals out there. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Guess where I'm at? I am in Alaska, and I'm fishing this small creek just outside of Anchorage, and you know what I'm using? Kind of the reason why I have a big smile on my face. I have got a mouse pattern on, and I've only caught one fish ever in my lifetime on a mouse pattern, and that was in Spirit Lake, Mount St. Helens. But I would have thrown a wood chip out there and they would have eaten it there. But in Alaska, fishing a mouse pattern on a small creek, this could be really good. So I'm gonna see what I can find. The, the water level is a little bit high, but the clarity looks good. And hopefully we'll get into a fish tonight. But I'm spying a hole just down from me here that looks pretty darn good. So I have never really traditionally fished a mouth pattern before. I got 2X tippet on, seven foot leader. So I think, uh, I don't think these guys are gonna be leader shy. They're just gonna smash this thing. All right, let's go do this, fish on. All right. A couple good looking holes here, especially down here, looks really good. Got my five weight. I can't even imagine what this is gonna be like if I get a trout trying to smash this mice mouse. <laughs> oh yeah. Could be good. I'm assuming this is how a mouse would swim. Just kind of erratically. Especially if he's trying to escape the jaws of some big fish. Oh, I had a fish hit it. Oh, shit. 
Man, this edge looks fishy. Like super fishy. Come on, fish. Eat it. Mice is for dinner. Oh, there's a natural just got taken down there. Oh, I just had a fish hit the mouse. Oh, there was a big fish. Came up and ate it. Oh, oh. Did you see that? Oh my God. Oh, come back. So I decided to tie in a little tagline to my mouse. So I can kind of have the best of both worlds, right? I could use it as a indicator and who knows, maybe there'll, there'll be a big fish to come up and eat the indicator, the mouse. So I thought I might just tie a short tag line on and uh, this little bead-headed uh, pheasant tail. All right, we're back to fishing. I don't know about you guys, when, when, uh, when I'm fishing Alaska, I always feel like I have to, I'm like looking over my shoulder, right? Last thing I wanna do is get uh, either stomped by a moose or eaten by a bear. I guess it's better just to not think about that kind of thing and just worry about the mosquitoes. It's dead. Or I'll just keep talking to you and hopefully that will, you know, scare away any, any potential uh, bears that might be close by that maybe will get spooked because I'm talking all the time. That'd be okay too. Oh, fish on. Oh, oh. Oh yeah. I'm not sure. If, oh, look at that. I'm not sure if he, I think he went for the mouse first. Maybe he's foul hooked. I don't know, but, but he smashed it hard. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. In the fast current. Oh, got to get him down the slower water. Oh, that was, that was just something else. No, he went after the nymph, man, in a big way. It almost looked like he hit the, uh, it almost looked like he hit the mouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like these, just these trout in these tiny little creeks. How cool is that? Look at that guy. Wild rainbow. Wild Alaskan rainbow. <laughs> okay. All right. Get out of the net. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Fish on. Sweet. That was pretty cool. I'm not sure if he maybe, you know, maybe he saw the mouse first and then went after the nymph, but man. He really hammered that thing. Wow, coming up on a section here that just really looks good. Lots of sticks and stuff though. Makes it tough. There we go. Fish on. Oh, he was right against that log. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. It's a nice fish. Come on, buddy. Holy crap, it's a grayling. Oh, this is my first grayling. That is so cool. Beautiful fish. How cool is that? Yeah. That, that is so cool. I have never caught a grayling before. That is my first one. That is just really cool. He was just sitting right there by the log. I had no idea there'd be grayling in here. So beautiful, the blue and that fin. 
Man, it's just awesome and they fight hard. Yeah, fish on. Let's go catch another one. Another good uh, looking bend in the river coming up here. There we go, fish on. Oh, I knew that had to been good in there. It's like another rainbow. Oh, nice. God, these things are spunky. Oh, he went under the log. Don't do that. Nice rainbow. These wild trout in Alaska. I mean, does it get any better than that? Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, jeez, that was just a terrible net job. Look at this beautiful fish. I mean, this, this is a big fish for a really small creek. I mean, look at this thing. And these, all 14 inches in this tiny little creek. I mean, what a beautiful fish. Wow, how cool is that? Oh, and I just kind of figured it, there had to have been something in there too. Just looked too fishy. There we go, fish on. Ooh, that feels like a good one too. Oh, I knew there had to have been a fish in there. Oh, it's another grayling, I think. That is so cool. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's even a bigger one down in there. <laughs> oh, shit. That is cool. These grayling are so cool. Wow, look at that thing. That is such a pretty fish. Look how pretty these things are. And that is just a beautiful fish. There's a bigger one in there too. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the big one. That's him. Oh shit. I saw him follow up the other one. Yeah, that's a big fish. He followed the little guy up. Yeah, he's a big fish. Oh, oh. wow. Yeah, he's 16, 17 inches. There he goes. I don't want him to get in that fast water. I got relatively light tippet on. Oh, that's a nice fish. What is that? Is that a grayling or a big trout? Oh, it's a big rainbow. Holy crap. I thought it was a grayling. Oh, I gotta tighten the drag. He's gonna get into the fast water. Oh no. Chasing trout. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Come on. That's a really nice fish. Oh yeah. Look at that guy. Holy smokes. That is gorgeous. Oh my God. I cannot believe that this trout was in this little creek.
that fish was 17, 18 inches in this tiny creek. I cannot believe it. What a beautiful Alaska fish. Holy smokes, that, that made the trip right there. Well, I think we're getting close to the mouth of the river. The skies are starting to look a little threatening. You can kind of see, a little dark, feel a little raindrops, but maybe that'll be good for the fishing. All right, let's go catch another fish. All right, fish on. Oh, there's a, a fish going after my mouse. Did you see that? That is so freaking cool. Oh, look at him. Oh my God. That is so cool. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, he rolled on the mouse. Oh. Oh yeah, that is a big fish. I think he rolled on the mouse and the nymph might have got him. Because he was going after the mouse. Oh, this is another big rainbow. Holy crap. No, he went for the nymph. God, he looks like he rolled on the on the mouse. Ooh, he's not ready. Ah, oh, it is a cannot believe how big these fish are here. That is crazy. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, oh that's gorgeous. Look at the size of that thing. Another great big rainbow. Holy smokes. Oh, how cool is this? Settle down just for a minute. Just for a minute. I'll get you in a kind of wrapped wrapped around stuff here there we go look at this thing that's a tank that small creek thing is a tank look at that wow here we go oh fish on oh wow he's a jumper oh he came off oh shoot Wow, he had some spunk. <laughs> oh, little baby fish. From one of the largest fish you could possibly catch in the creek to a very small one. That's pretty funny. Grow up. Fish on! <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't recording. Caught him right by that log. Not shocking. It's like a little rainbow. Oh, nice. I love these Alaskan wild rainbows. I mean, what the heck. Beautiful little fish. Nice. Right where he's supposed to be, right through there. Go away, bear. That was loud. Go away, bear. That was a big thump. Go away, bear. Come on. Get going. Yeah, my heart's pounding. It's the one thing about Alaska. There's just all sorts of 
big animals out there. Well, I'm gonna use the excuse that there's weather coming in and I've caught some beautiful fish on this creek and I just, you know, I just don't wanna bother a, a moose or a calf, you know, in her calf or a bear. I like to avoid it, all that. So thanks for keeping me company and not making me feel like I'm completely by myself fishing out here, but what a beautiful creek. I've got about a, a mile to hike uh, back to the car, so I am gonna make my way there. I'm gonna do it probably with some uh, some haste, but I really appreciate you joining me on this Alaskan fishing adventure, and man, what a great day. Some big rainbows, some beautiful wild rainbows. I think they're all wild in this creek. I mean, I'm pretty far off the grid. And some grayling, I mean, I can now, check that off the list right caught a grayling on the fly that is so cool but i'm gonna make my way back and i gotta tell you again at thermocell i haven't had any problems with mosquitoes since putting that on so pretty darn cool all right i'm gonna concentrate on walking back so i don't fall on my face all right everybody till the next time fish on <laughs>